Morning, folks. Thought I'd make a quick video for you, folks. Um, so I have a Honda four-stroke here. It's an eight horsepower. It's uh, I think it's a 2006. I'm not quite certain on that, but I'm fairly sure on that. So what I was having, I, I just picked this thing up and so I don't really know any of its history at all. Um, so I took it out. It uh, idled fine for a while and then I took it for a bit of a run across the lake and it was running great. Lots of power, no, nothing really weird. Until I then got down and was trying to do some fishing and then that's when I started getting a little bit of issue. So the issue, I wish I had better, I wish I had some footage of it, sorry for that. I didn't really think of it at the time. But anyways, how, how it would work is you'd be kind of just trolling along, motors, put, motor, motors, motors puttering away quietly, and then about 30 seconds, you would just die. You'd put it back in neutral, give it one quick yank, and away it goes again, and, and for about 30 seconds, and then it would die again. Although we, although in the meantime, the the, the, uh, the test uh, what was it the, where it pees out water, if you know what it's called, it was fine. Um, it wasn't as strong as when wide open or anything, so I kind of just whatever it was doing its job. And that so then you'd so I, so I could kind of tell that it wasn't anything to do with fuel. It it was something. In its own brain that was causing an issue because it wouldn't respond to a choke you would you would give it a, a try and give it a shot of a, a, a throttle and they would just kind of bup, 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 kind of like hitting a rev limiter and you'd kind of hold it in that stage and pull your choke and it wouldn't do anything like it wouldn't change it would just bup, 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 and then it would die pull it put it back in neutral pull it over without any weight pull back over Start it up, take it for accelerate right away, and you'll be fine. I mean, then you just run across the lake, your quarter throttle, half throttle, any sort of other throttle. There was no issues except for you get down to the idle. So I kind of pondered on it for a while, and I I'm pretty sure the issue is is that on these smaller Hondas, they don't come with an overheat buzzer, or maybe mine's dead. So I shouldn't say that with certainty. I know. I had a friend who had a, I think it was a 40 horse uh, Honda, and it definitely did did have a buzzer. It would give it an uh, annoying wee, and then it would shut off and protect itself. But with this one, at least it's 8 horsepower, it doesn't have that. So you don't really know that it's overheating, and it's protecting itself, and I wouldn't know it, it was peeing out fine. So I thought, well... That's the only thing that makes sense. So you can pull off the the uh, the temperatures control system right. sensor. You can pull the wires off, and you can trick it, but be very careful doing that. You can then cause it to overheat and kill your engine. So I kind of confirmed that. So then I went digging into the impeller system, and this is what I found. We have a broken impeller. Fins are kind of a bit whomped out. So that's your symptoms are that. If it's seeming like it's not something carb related, I would check your water impeller. Anyways, hopefully this video helped helped uh, a few of y'all out and the symptoms. So I'm gonna have in the title something like Honda chugging dying at idle. I didn't really know what to search up when I was thinking about it and looking up, trying to think of what to how to describe the issues. Because oftentimes you look up those symptoms and it's basically straight to carb. But I could tell there was something that wasn't carb related. So if you have those symptoms, I have one tiny little video I'll try and stitch in that I sent uh, to my dad as I was sitting on the lake. 
I'll see if I can get that in there and see if it's good enough quality to, uh, to compare it to. Anyways, bye for now.